and to another edition of Let's Play. And today we're going to play Mint Tin Pirates from Subquark Games. Ah. Uh. Yes, myself and Brian are going to play this together. It is a two player only game, which I think is kind of unusual nowadays. Appropriate, Appropriate that's very true. Um, very us. And as you can see, it comes in this gorgeous tin. So everything that's in this tin is around here. We'll talk about now. You get some lovely meeples, some little pirate chips, a deck of pirate cards, some very nice dice, and a ghost pirate. Nice. And a gold. Uh, yes, and a gold cube. Um, inside the tin, you also get all of the rules um, on, printed on these nice small cards, so you can have them with you in your tin. Um, you can also read all of the rules on the Subcorp website if you want kind of a more in-depth look at those. And now we're gonna we're gonna attempt to play the game. So what's it about? Well, th this is um, both of us are obviously rival pirate ships, and the aim of the game is to eliminate your opponent's pirates or to blow up their ship. Correct? Correct. Yep. And we're going to do this by using a deck of cards. And so you start with a hand of cards, and what you need to do in your turn is match identical cards together. Oh, you're going to give us examples, thanks. Um, and then you will roll dice, and if you match the numbers below, you'll get to perform that action, right? So they all do different types of things. So this one kills men on the ships, right? Correct. These three do. Um, then there are cannons to take out your opponent's entire, like the body of the ship as opposed to your crew. And that's marked down the bottom of your little pirate ship at the cube. No. So you die when it gets all the way to the end. The broken pirate ship action. And then these kill all of the meeples. Now the first person to lose all of their meeples, something magical happens to your ship. You get a ghost. Uh. <laughs> yeah, you get a ghost instead. Um, and then once the ghost dies, you're out. That, that's how you. That's how you lose. Um, that's pretty much mostly everything. Um, the as you bring people back from the Dave Jones locker. Yeah. So if you were able to return and a meeple back to ship, here somewhere to resurrect um, as desert ship people from one ship to the other. Better, yeah. And the balloons are wild. You've to actually show it to the camera, or people can't see it. Doubloons are wild. Doubloons are wild. So we can show you the cards anyway as we play along. The other important thing is this piece of gold. And this happens if you roll doubles, right? Correct. And when it when you do that, it allows you to have an extra card in your hand. So for example, if you're the ghost pirate, you can only have three cards in your hand. Because clearly you're dead and can't hold cards. Mm. Um, and normally you get to hold six cards? Five. Five. Better. It's a better number than six, really. So now, so... Only word game choose six. Okay, cool. I'm going to put this here and I'm going to put the tin out of the way because it's super shiny. <laughs> it's a very nice tin, by the way. Roll to see who goes first? Yes, let's roll to see who goes first. Ooh. I can't roll like this normally. <laughs> when it matters, you know, for your mortgage, roll! <laughs> Seven. Okay, so I couldn't beat that. So I'm just going to point out to you the quality of these cards are particularly lovely. And I really like the art on the back of them. I'm showing them to you off camera. Aren't they really, really pretty? I think they're lovely. All right. Okay, so at the time you can scout up to two cards and draw. And draw that many, yeah? Yeah. Cool. Then you mm -hmm. must play exactly two cards. Because if you turn. don't have two that match, you don't get to do anything on your turn. So it's Correct. probably worthwhile to discard some things if you don't want to. So what are you doing? Mm -hmm. So this means that a five to nine, I will drop a bomb on your ship. So You'll kill a, kill a man. Kill a man. <gasps> so I roll seven. <sighs> I kill a man. The first casualty two. of the game. Okay. And I draw back up to my five cards. Yes, you draw another two cards. Okay, excellent. So me. My hand dictates that I should probably try and blow up your ship with a cannon. So this has got a much bigger range of numbers. Yeah. So hopefully I'll do this. Oop. So that's yeah. a nine. Yeah. So your cube goes up one. Your ship is slightly damaged. And then I yeah. draw two cards at the end of the turn. Okay, mine. You. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to discard two cards to draw two. Yep. And then I'm going to play two cards. I really like the art on the cards, actually. The, Pretty, it's four. lovely and obvious. So damage your ship. No, not my ship. There seems to be no way to heal your ship in this game. I'm still only mildly disappointed. Despite being at sea and whatnot. Because <laughs> you can you can get men back, but your ship, once it goes, your well, ship is kind of gone. Where that sea? I know it doesn't make sense. I just like the idea of being able to undo game states. Okay, so now we're going to try and blow up some of your humans. Yeah. Six, seven, and eight. I'll dodge. See, yeah, you miss. do dodge. <laughs> Two more cards for me. For that action, I'm going to discard this. You discard. You're far more intent on drawing your way through the deck, aren't you, than I am? Yeah. Do, do, do. Power advantage. It's, it's real. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I went way out. Oh, no, I made it off the screen. Okay. Seven, yeah. So I planted a bomb on your ship. It looks like I'm going to be a ghost before you are. <laughs> yeah. It's a race to ghosthood. Um, so these have... Uh, oh, my hand. Okay. Well, knife you. Knife me. <laughs> knife you. Yeah, so six, seven, eight. 
<laughs> it's doubles. It's doubles. Yeah, yeah, yeah I can have an extra card in hand. So, but it doesn't mean I can draw an extra card, right? It, it just means. Because you drop six. I drop to six. Okay, yeah. so we'll get rid of those. So I have three cards in hand, so now I get three. I'm feeling very special. Is there a way for you to steal the gold from me? If I roll doubles, I steal the gold. You <gasps> <just> got... Curses. <laughs> I will play my boom and bomb and try no, to get the last card. No, no, stop it. Get off. Get off. We haven't done anything useful yet. Oh, no. thank God. <laughs> <laughs> You. Okay, now we're coming back with a vengeance. Yeah. We're gonna bomb your ship. Cool, you bomb my ship away. We it's successfully bomb your, your ship. ship. Yes, meeples. And I draw two cards. Okay, you. So got that. Cool. It's part of me that wants to be the first person to be a ghost, but it would also mean I was losing. <laughs> oh no. This is a very nice set of numbers. Eight it is. It's actually quite high. Chance well you can see on the top of these cards there's a little exclamation mark to tell you how likely they are to happen right. So this is less likely than let's say the cannon which has three exclamation marks. And the numbers marks. how many of them is in the deck. Okay. So I kill your last guy. No I've you become a ghost. Them three cards. What? Four cards because you got the gold. Four cards because I have the gold. Okay one sec. Bye bye dead meatball. <laughs> he was brave until he drowned at sea. Oh god. Um, I only get to keep the three things. Okay. Four cards. Four cards. Okay, we, we can do four. Hang on. I'll just see your gold. No, you're not having my gold. Okay, so now it's my go. We're going to carry on on our onslaught on your humans. I've got two guys left. I know, but it's better than... See, your ship... I can a ghost stab me? And the answer is no. Oh, I'd also like to point out you shouldn't be able to hit a ghost, but apparently he's treated like a regular human. Yeah. I don't really know why. I got draw cards. Oh yeah, I should be drawing two cards. Uh, I have a tendency to forget shoot to draw you. them. No, no you're not. Go away, counter spell. Yeah, I successfully shoot and kill your ghosts. <sighs> that was uh, pretty abysmal. Well, <laughs> I did not I did not roll well. Um but yeah, so this is mint tin pirates. I quite like this one actually. Yeah, I bad. think I think there's something really fun about digging for the right set of cards and the probability yeah. on which one to use makes it interesting. Yeah, it's enjoyable. I think one of the best features actually is the ghost pirate. I think that that's a really great way for someone who's behind to get a leg up. Yeah. So, for instance, if I had taken down your other two players, you or uh, yeah, players, yeah. meeples, you wouldn't have gotten to be a ghost pirate like I did. So, it no. gives me an extra advantage right near the end of the game. So, yeah, yeah this, 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 this was pretty fun. This is one I, I think I would recommend. Um, so, yeah, so you've watched us play Mint Tin Pirates. What did you guys think? Let us know in the comments below. I love hearing from you guys. Um, and until next time, maybe we'll do another um, Let's Play again soon. Yeah, until next any pirate jokes leave them in the comments oh yeah i'd love to yeah some good pirates where do pirates shop spa but that only works if you're in ireland it's true but we are in ireland spa <laughs> there's a lot of good pirate jokes yeah to tell us those too that would be really fun. so until next time everybody um we'll be here playing games asking questions and um making pirate jokes yeah take care everybody bye bye bye, bye.